right, welcome back, you guys. Are we feeling magical yet? I'm Kalani, this is World Drum Club, and this is a brand new, to me, uh, tank drum by Kosmoski. And I'm gonna show you everything I know up to this point. I've had this a couple days, uh, just arrived, and pretty amazing. So I'll explain about the sound. I'm gonna go over it with you right now and show you a couple things that come with the instrument. Uh, this is not a complete overview by any means, although I do have a little bonus thing I'm going to do for patrons, so I'll talk about that at the end of this video. What The sound you were listening to at the beginning was not from a mic, so I'll talk about that in a second, but I want to just give you the overview uh, of what this is. So let's take a look again, and I'm going to show you some of the paperwork that came with this. So this, this just says New Wave, and this model is this one called the Cosmo Drum. It's a 15-inch drum, and it's got two full octaves, G to G. And so this is some, some of the documentation that came with it. Talks about electronics and looping and stuff on the back. It also came with this card, which gives you all of the note names laid out. Very nice, right? Graphic. So these are all the notes, so you see what they are. And then it also came with uh, this sheet of stickers, which have numbers and note names on them and some other stuff. And I have since used some of these stickers, and that's what's on here. So it doesn't come with these note names. I put the note names on. And uh, let's go over them right now. So let's look and see in the center um, there's a G, and that's because both of these are G's. We have a low G and a high G, two octaves up. And what do we have in between? We've got every note of the G diatonic scale in between. So um, let's go. So G and then A right below that towards me, up the scale, and then to the left B. And now we're gonna alternate going up. So we're at the left side now, we're gonna go right to C, left to D, right E, F sharp, G. So now we're at one octave, and now we're gonna go another octave. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then G at the top. And these are the bigger mallets. These mallets come with the drum and they are really good, they're great for the lower notes, uh, as you can hear, and not so great for the really high notes, and that's why it also comes with these little guys, these little tiny mallets. All right, so that's what's happening on the instrument. Now, you're listening to a mic up here picking up the sound. It's not even aimed at the drum. This is my shotgun mic, talking mic. What I'm very impressed with is the electronics. You can see the plug right here. So it's got a single quarter inch jack. That's the bottom. And there's another thing you can do if you get this plug out of the bottom. I also want to point your attention to this cool stand. <laughs> it comes with, so they have a laser cut uh, plywood stand that you put together and uh, pretty groovy, right? And that holds it, a little tri tripod kind of stand. So that's very sturdy. Uh, I've got the, the, the cord, of course, plugged in right into my mixer. And I'm going to put some effects on it. And that's what you heard at the beginning. So that was not the plain acoustic sound. But I want to give you the plain electronic sound right now. We're going to go back to that, or I'll add it, actually. So now I've activated the uh, pickup and I think what I'm going to do is turn my mic off and I'm going to play just the plain instrument sound from the pickup for you. So that's what this is. Thank you. 
Okay, now I'm going to add a couple effects uh, like I had at the beginning, just because it makes it super magical. I'm going to add some chorus, which will sound like this. And then I'm also going to add some reverb, a little bit of this reverb. And now I'm going to put both of those together. Okay, so, pretty amazing, you guys. Uh, I'm just getting into this. Now, couple things before we end, and I do have a special video for patrons because I'm gonna show you what this does. Yes, it turns it into a chef. No, um, this is crazy. It's super simple, but it's got an amazing sound. So if you wanna see that video, click the link below and see me over at patreon.com slash Kalani. It's free, it's available to you guys. I'm just posting it over there, all right? Um, now you might be asking yourself, should I get an instrument like this? And I just wanna give you my opinion. Um, my opinion is that if you have experience with scales and chords and you understand how to make chords, and you have some music background, maybe harmony, you know, and it can be formal or informal music training. It doesn't have to be formal training. But um, I would say an instrument like this would not make a great beginner instrument as compared to some of the other types of tank drums and hand pans that have more of a pentatonic scale or a tuning uh, setup, a set of notes that kind of go, all go together, that blend together. This is two octaves of what we call diatonic scale, which means it has every note of the major scale. Now, that's great if you know how to use those notes to create different harmonies and chords. You heard me doing a little bit of that. Um, and, and I'm a trained musician, and I and I'm, was doing a little, and I'm just getting used to this instrument. I, as I play this instrument, I will learn how to do that with more precision and I'll be able to play, you know, chord progressions and use it to accompany, uh, you know, instruments and maybe also play chords on a keyboard or an ukulele or a guitar, and I could add that. So that's the kind of thing that you could do with this instrument. However, you need to have the knowledge and skills to be able to do that. It's not going to automatically sound like, even like I was just playing, unless you know how to create those. So I would say, uh, it, I would say it probably wouldn't be like your first instrument if you're an amateur musician or you don't have formal training. If you are a, a trained musician or you have a, some experience or you'd like a challenge, then I would say, yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's not that difficult to do, but it will require a little bit of a learning curve. So that would be my advice to you if you're looking at getting a tank drum like this one. I do want to thank the folks at Kosmoski for sending this. I also want to let you guys know that if you see me over at Patreon, you can get a special World Drum Club code. And if you're a patron of World Drum Club, 
then you get a better code. <laughs> and I'll be giving that to you guys over there at patreon.com slash Kalani. All right, that's it for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, show your appreciation by clicking uh, the like. Of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Hit the bell so you get notifications when we publish new videos. And see us um, over at patreon.com slash Kalani for more. All right, thanks for watching.